What is going on, my beautiful, beautiful people? And welcome back to Wall Street Ben Black Playbook. Coming at you with my watch list for the week of February 13th. Now, it's a little bit late today, but y'all know Rihanna had a concert where they was also throwing around some footballs. Had to get to it. All right, so let's start this watch list off by looking at SPY. And there's a lot going on in here, but I've already marked off uh, the levels that I will be looking to enter and take profit at for SPY this week, but we'll break it down in here. So my moving averages that I do have pulled up here on this daily time frame, the red is my 200 and the green is my 10. Now we do see that we lost the 10 on uh, Thursday. And on Friday, we did still close above it, but we were able to bounce here off of this uh, support trend line that we were that we're in for our secondary, like our secondary movement here. So the white, as you see, is my primary trend line that we did break above, but we haven't pulled back yet. And this blue is the secondary trend that we're in. So we were able to hold that Friday. So I I'm looking to see if we'll break um, break that or be able to hold that. So if we come down here to my one hour time frame, these levels get a bit, well, they get much clearer and we'll turn this moving average off. So again, we're in here and we're consolidating right in here on this secondary trend line. So I'll be looking uh, for a break above this trend line, which is going to be here at my supply zone around this 408, 409. And we enter above there and I'll look to enter to take profits at 410 for about this 411.56. And then above there, this 413 and the 416 and beyond. Now, overall, I'll be looking to see if we can break that 1421. But this CPI data that we have coming in this week, y'all, we have poor CPI data. Tuesday, jobless claims Wednesday, housing starts Thursday. It's just a lot of economic data that's going to be dropping. And I really think that's going to be one of the deciding factors as to what this market does on this pullback that we've had. Because we know we've been on a run up since about October. Um, um, a good amount of the market has been on a run up since about October, November, December time frame. Um, so this pullback a nice relief. It's a nice, we, we need it. We need it. We've been running up a little bit too much. We need to kind of even out. So I'm not mad at it. Now we break out uh, below this consolidation, then I'll be looking to enter uh, below 404, about 404.10, eyeing 402.12 and 400 in here. Now 400, this key, this 400 to 398, this is key. Are we going to hold that or not? Because if we break below, um, we get this break below this 400. I'm eyeing 393, baby, please hold that. And if not, 389. Now, I wouldn't mind if we you know, start, We came down a little bit because I missed the sell. It's a couple of stocks that I missed the sell on, so I wouldn't be mad at it. Now, when we're talking about the sales, right, let me take you over here to Amazon and we'll go back to our daily time frames because I did miss out on the sale. I did not catch Amazon at its true, true lowest down here around this 81, um, like 81. I didn't catch it down there. But I did buy in around 85, 87. So not mad at this pullback just so I can, um, I'm averaging down on my buy-ins and all of this. Now, these lines, the white lines, again, these are my daily or these are my intraday levels so I'll delete those for now as we're looking in here on this daily time frame so you see my primary trend lines are the white ones the blue is my secondary um, the secondary trend that we are in overall now this 10363 is key and up here, this red is still my 200 moving average. Now, if I also turn around and pull up the 100, which is going to be that next level of support down from the 200 to the 100 to the 50. We lost the 100 on Thursday, kept it Friday, bouncing right here on this primary trend line. So again, I'm looking to see um, for a break below this consolidation, or are we going to get a bounce here on this trend line where this consolidation is and take this 100 back. 
Now, if we continue below this 100, the next level down, the next support level down that we have is this 50. And we see that, that this 50 is very, has been very key on here. We got this open here. When it pulled back, we got that, uh, it was able to hold it, keep that bounce. So we get a break below this consolidated area around 96. I'm looking to take that down to here around this 93. Now let's put our intraday levels back and come down here to the one hour. So on the one hour, that 200 is right in here with this where we are consolidating outside of this primary trend line. So this is, and then we see a previous bounce here, here. So this 95.75 is where I'm looking to enter uh, for puts with a target of 94 and this 92.77 in mind. Um, if we are able to hold here, I'm going to want to wait it's going to be about this 99.75 before I'll get in eyeballing this 101.20. And then if we continue um, on up there about this 102 and then the 10, uh, 103. But I don't quite have those marked off just because my next change of structure is this 103.63. So I'll just be looking if we do break above there, right? That's where um, I'm looking at taking that. Now, next up that I have uh, watching AMD. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, y'all. I know, I know. However, it just was looking really good. I'm going to give NVIDIA a break. Although y'all know I got my baby NVIDIA just charted down in here, but I'm going to give it a break on the watch list. And we're going to uh, instead trade its counterpart, AMD, which is a much more affordable option premium-wise. So y'all know how, how I have my levels marked off. Red and green is my supply demand. Yellow is my change of structure. And then the white is what I'm looking at taking um, intraday. Now, again, we are sitting right here on this primary support trend line, which is in congruence with this 200, which is coming in at about 79.19 or at 79.19. So I'm looking for that. Now, if this is what's holding it as support, remember now I want to pull up that 100, which is below the, the uh, well, because we're in an uptrend. So we need to pull up the 20, my apologies, which is also in here at the 77.66. And let's see where the 10 moving average is. Sorry, resist, or it's holding it as resistance, which is in line here with the level that I drew. So let's come down here to the one hour. And these levels become clearer to us in here. So with this consolidated period in here, I don't want AMD until it breaks above this 82.79, which is going to get us above this moving average as well. Claris, where we do see that um, it accumulated in here and then did get this nice little bounce here up to the next break structure around this 89 or 88. Oh Lord, 8820. All right. I'm loving it. So there, so we get above this 8279. I'll be I'll look to enter here, taking profit at 8420, 86, and then next up there around 8820. Now, if we break below 80, we get this break below 80. I'm looking to take it to 78. Below 78, we do have a gap fill. We got us a nice good old gap fill down here to 75, and I'm not mad at it. I would not be mad at it at or not at all, not at all. Um, now, y'all know I have to hit you with the uh, with the small cap. Y'all know I have to hit you with the small cap. In DraftKings, it's a pretty easy setup. I have my alert is set here, um, which is normally like my resistance level, um, but it is in here. Let me mark this off about this 1533 overall that I am watching this 1533 to 16 or 1553 to 16 that I am watching now if we get if we break below the 16 and we're able to hold it might even go ahead and say this 1555 what was the low on Friday 1556 
So about here, this 1555, if we can get a break below there, I will be looking to take it down to the 200 around 1445. I can get that in there. Be looking to take that down there, and that is going to be a nice move. Don't sleep on me, small account, friendly flies. That's a 6.6% .6 move in there. Don't sleep on it. Do not sleep on it. I'm, that's all I'm looking for. Now, if it holds this 16, I'll be looking to enter above 1650. Because long get up there for me a little bit above the 1650, looking to take profits uh, here around the 1734. It's a very clear path, very clear path for DraftKings. Um, and I'm looking to take it. Now we break this 1445, baby. You coming back on down here towards my demand zone, but I'll be looking to take profit in here about 1332. That is going to be one of my uh, profit levels. Break that down, back down to my demand about 1266. All right, and last that I have is Meta. So let's look at Meta. It's already entered into this gap fill um, and it's holding this 10. It held that 10 moving average. Beautifully, but I will be looking for, uh, to enter below about this 173.76. You get this, we get this break below this 173.76. Overall, I would be looking to swing it down to the 200, which is also the uh, beginning of this gap up that it did have off of the earnings report, which is around this uh, 153.78, 151.70 level. I'll be looking to swing it there, taking profit at about 162. Now, my bias is for it to go ahead and complete this gap, but I will be watching for a bounce here around this 171. We might bounce here and get this move back up. So if we break above this about 178, 177, 70, 178. Uh, I, then I will look to take this, uh, which is also going to be a break outside of the trend line, to take that and play that up to where the uh, gap ended about 183.51. And if we break that on up to this 186.76. And that is what I have for y'all. Those are my top watches for the week. My eyes are heavy on SPY just because of the economic calendar. I feel like it's going to be just easiest to catch SPY. It's going to have a lot of volume, but also y'all a lot of volatility. So don't go in trying to buy zero data expiration date. Okay. Especially not if you're going to look at the profit is going to be very volatile. Theta will be high. Theta will be burning. But I love to trade SPY on a huge economic, uh, when there's a huge week on the economic side. Um, and then also meta, because this 171 is just going to be key. If we bounce here, I'm going to love it. And if it does end up um, rejecting below here, I'm going to love that even more. Because that is that confirmation to me that we are going to go ahead and close that gap. And I'm actually going to go ahead and move my zone down to about in here. We're going to go ahead and move that here to about this 196.48. So that is uh, my supply zone overall. But all right, y'all, happy trading.